There are a lot of options these days for online MBAs coming from established universities. Sometimes the costs are still quite high with a handful of exceptions. But it's not just traditional universities that are getting in on this, there are also institutions that are developing around online education. One of them is the Quantic School of Business and Technology, which is promoted as the business school of the future. And in this video, I'll walk you through what you need to know about the program and what I think about it as someone who is currently completing their online MBA through a more traditional university, all to help you decide if this program is right for you. So stay tuned. Hey folks, Richard Walls here and welcome to my channel where I help you with career development and personal finance. So if either of those two topics are of interest to you, do make sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I post new videos. So with that said, let's get to it. I've received many requests about my opinion on the Quantic MBA, so I did a little bit of digging. I'll tell you what you need to know up front about some of the high level details of the program. I'll follow that up with a deeper dive on the kind of content you can expect how it looks because part of the video there's gonna be a bit of a demo of the platform, how networking happens, and finally, who I would recommend this program to. So let's start with a few key points. First is the price. The price of the program is around $9,600 USD, but the program does offer suggestions on how to reduce the cost through either scholarships or through employer reimbursement. Second is you do receive an MBA degree, that is to say you do receive a diploma from the Quantic School of Business and Technology. Third is the program is accredited through DEAC, which is the Distance Education Accreditation Commission. That is a bit of a mouthful, which is okay. It's a it's an accreditation. It's not quite the same as the accreditations that you would find at most established universities, which are regional accreditations. Four is the program takes about a year to complete, give or take, there's a little bit of flexibility built in. Fifth is it's all online, but there are opportunities to meet in person and that's through some of the networking opportunities that the uh, that the institution hosts for the students and they likely take place in some of the more major, uh, major populated cities around the world. Okay, with the basics out of the way, let's get to the meat and potatoes of the program. Now the purported value of how Quantic delivers education is through what they term as the active learning model, which is to say, as you're learning, you're getting tested, or I should say quizzed, on the knowledge as you go, and so you're getting feedback immediately on whether you're actually understanding the material. In my opinion, this is not really that unique when it comes to online learning. It's certainly common for many of the online education platforms we have today, like Coursera as an example, to have those kinds of quizzes to test your knowledge along the way as you are learning. But I will say it's probably different than most traditional MBA programs or most traditional education where you learn a lesson, you spend a few hours on it, and then maybe you do an assignment, which you then turn in, which later you get a grade on that. So you don't know for a while if you actually did well or you stunk it up. But while we're on the subject of how they deliver content, let's look at the content itself. For starters, the user interface is modern. And in my opinion, this is incredibly well laid out very clean and simple. And this is something I would expect in terms of design in the year 2021. So I'm actually quite a big fan of how they've organized this. I'd also describe this as very approachable, which means that I don't feel like I'll need to set aside a few hours to engage with the content and make progress. Part of the value here is that you could complete some lessons in as little as 10 minutes. I'd call them bite-sized lessons. Because sometimes you don't want the whole butterfinger, you just want a bite. This is great in many ways because if you're a busy working professional, you've got a lot of things going on, maybe with a family, the opportunities you'll have to really dedicate yourself for multiple hours to studying in one sitting 
those opportunities are going to be few and far between. But what's more likely to happen is that you'll find yourself with maybe small pockets of time, say 30 minutes or even an hour. And you wanna maximize your time, you wanna use that productively, so this is your opportunity to take one of these lessons and go through some of the content. Now the content itself from everything I've seen from the previews looks really good. The way they've categorized these subjects makes sense and they've got a good handful of supplementary courses around law, technology, software applications, though some of these courses I'd consider very important or even necessary for any MBA program in 2021 and beyond. Because to be an effective business leader, you have to have some kind of baseline understanding of some technology trends and trends in data analytics in particular. And this is where a lot of MBAs from traditional universities fall short or are just now catching up to. Sometimes it takes many years for them to update curriculum, where in the case of Quantic, it seems like updates are made on maybe a more frequent basis than the university counterparts. So I give all this content here a thumbs up. One note that I'll make is that while it seems like there's a lot of solo work to be done here, a lot of it you do on your own, there do appear to be team projects that you do throughout the program. Now what I don't know is really how substantial these projects are and what kind of experience you actually get from, from doing these projects and also who you get matched up with as far as your, your group. Do you get matched up with them just for the project or is it something where you stay with them throughout the entire maybe semester or throughout the program? A traditional MBA would likely have you in a group from the start of the semester throughout the end of the semester. So you really get a lot of time to develop those relationships, which is preferable to just getting matched up with a group for a three or four week period of time where you don't necessarily get that level of involvement. So I don't know how exactly that works here with the Quantic MBA, but if you're in the program now or if you've done the program, I would love to get your feedback. Please do leave a comment down below on what that part of the program is like. And also, while you're down there, let me know how your experience was with the program. So you've got an idea of what the content looks like, but one of the bigger benefits from going through an MBA program is the networking opportunities. In this program, there's actually a very handy network tab that gives you a bit of a map of where peers and alumni are located around the globe and some of their background. Not only that, you have filters so you can search people by different categories like interest, industry, and location. So I'd say this is quite helpful if you're willing to use it and be proactive about making those connections. Not only that, there are in-person events that are optional workshops and networking weekends. As I mentioned earlier, they likely take place in some of the more populated cities around the globe. So I'd say there's opportunity here as much as an online MBA can offer. And like I mentioned in many other videos about online MBAs, the networking part of it really is what you make of it. So who would I recommend this program to? Well, the reason anyone would spend money to get an MBA is to then leverage that for new job opportunities with hopefully a higher salary with which to justify the expense of having done the MBA in the first place. So I say that to say that this program seems to hinge their brand and reputation a little more on other brands. So they talk a lot, I mean, it's really prominently displayed on the main page, the schools that their students have gone to. So you'll see MIT, you'll see Harvard, you'll see you know Ivy League schools. And then you'll see also some of the top global companies listed here as where the students currently work. So it's really tying their brand to these other more recognized, more established brands. So this tells me a little bit that the brand still has a little bit of growth ahead of it. It's actually a relatively new program that was started in 2020. It goes back a little bit further than that to 2013, but there's been a number of rebrandings since then. So if you do pursue an MBA from Quantic, 
in my opinion, you're going to have a little bit of a steeper hill to climb. You're going to have to put in you know, quite a bit more effort to explore opportunities to make those connections and to network and to explain to people, you know, I've got this degree, here's what I learned, and here's the value that this can bring to your company. The way I see it is this program really is going to be for someone who wants to move up within their own company, if they can get their company to pay for it even better, or if they can get scholarships to cover 80% of it or more, that would also be ideal. And if you don't plan to get an MBA, from any other school. Now, the reason I bring up employer reimbursement and scholarships to reduce the cost is that for the brand of MBA, which is a relatively new brand, it's not really established, I find it difficult to justify $9,600, nearly $10,000, out of pocket to pursue the degree. But hopefully the brand does grow. Hopefully there becomes a track record of success for the students that they can talk about. Because I do think there's a lot of potential here with the way they've laid out the content, the, the way they're delivering the education. But I will say that even if the brand is not quite there yet, because of the schools and the companies that these students have either gotten their education from, or have gotten work experience from, or are currently working at these companies, this presents a lot of really great networking opportunities. But again, only if you're proactive, if you're really diligent about it, and you really build those connections and relationships, this program can potentially pay off for you very well. But given the $9,600 price tag, again, unless you can bring that cost down, I see that as being a little bit risky. But if you disagree with my assessment of the situation, I would invite you to leave a comment down below. Maybe you've had a, an experience with the program. Maybe you've completed it. Maybe you have a success story to share. I would love to hear that. I love hearing a good success story. And that's going to be useful for not only myself, but also for the audience and everyone that watches this video. So if you've got those stories, let us hear it let me know down in the comments below. So the bottom line is this, and I say this a lot. You get out of it what you put into it. So this program could be totally worthless if you don't put a lot of effort into it, or it can yield a lot of benefit if you do put the effort into it. The higher education market continues to be ripe for innovation and disruptors, and this school is one of a few that are in that wave of disruption where you have a more affordable MBA program or a more affordable degree program and you have content that's delivered in a way that's consistent with the 21st century and the internet era. So it's modern, that's what we need. So with that said, I hope this video helps. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.